Hello everybody and I welcome all of you to online history for you. This is a video on the pseudo code question problems. So in this video we are going to cover actually three questions that are actually come from the previous year question paper of Cap Gemini that is this year question paper itself. So we had got the question from some of the students and we are also taking two of the sample questions that are very similar to these questions so that you can help preparing for these examinations. So let us get started with the questions. So the first question that was actually asked in the examination is this. What will be the output of the following pseudocode statement? So this is the given statement integer count equal to 0 i for i is equal to 0 to 4 lesser than lesser than 0 count equal to count plus 1 end for print count. What will be printed? Option A 0, Option B 2, Option C 4, Option D 8, Option E 16 and Option F none. Now what is happening here? So here we are familiar with the first line, a variable called count will be created and the value will be 0. In the second, uh, here the variable named i will be created and there will be no value inside it. Okay. So Next, when we come to the for loop, here is where a lot of students get confused. For i is equal to 0 to 4 lesser than lesser than 0. This operator is called as the left shift operator. Okay. This less than less than symbol is called as the left shift operator. Now, what does this left shift operator do? Let me give you an example. Let us suppose I have this number 7. Okay. How do I represent 7 in binary? So in binary, if I start 1, 2, 4, 8. So my 7 will become 1 and 1. Uh, that is 4 plus 2 plus 1. That is 7. Okay. Rest becomes 0 here. This is the 7 in binary. Okay, this is 16th place, this is 32 place, this is 64 place. Now what happens is, when I left shift 7 by 2 places, what I am actually doing is I am moving each of this bit left 2 times. So, when I move all these bits left 1 time, the resulting number will be this. Okay, this is 1 time. When I move the bits left the second time the resulting number will be this. So what is the resulting number? The resulting number will be 16 plus 8 plus 4 that is 28. Okay. So 7 left shifted 2 times is 28. That is about left shift. Okay. Now if I right shift so let us suppose I will take the same 7, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1. Okay, this is 1 place, 2 place, 4 place, 8 place and so on. Now, if I, this is 7. So if I say 7 right shift once, right, this is the symbol for right shift. Okay, again, if I right shift 7 once, what is going to happen is this bit is going to come here all these bits is going to shift right that means this zero will come here this one will come here this one will come here and this one will go off so this is right shifting one time when i right shift seven one time my answer will be nothing but three okay so in generalization what i can say is when i left shifted seven two times i got 28 this means that Left shifting two times is like multiplying this by two, two times. What do I mean by that is seven into two. What is the answer? Four. Again, if you multiply this by two, what is the answer? 28. This is it. Okay. If I say seven left shift three, this is nothing but seven into two. One time 14. Again into two, 28. Again into two. I am going to get 56. Okay. So 7 left shift 3 means you are going to multiply this with 2 3 times consecutively. Okay. After multiplying once you get the answer you multiply that again with 2 and that again with 2. 
similarly similarly remember so 7 left shift 2 or any number left shift 2 means multiplying it by 2 that many number of times so similarly when i said 7 right shift 1 i was dividing 7 by 2 so whenever i divide 7 by 2 what is my answer 3.5 if i convert it into integer it becomes 3 okay so if i right shift 7 by 2 times if i right shift 7 2 times what i'm going to do is this 3 i'll again be dividing with 2 so what will be the answer 1.5 so this will be then 1 okay so 7 is this okay right shifting once it will become this if you right shift 2 times it will become this this is nothing but 1 that is this answer okay that is the whole concept behind left shift and right shift here what we are having is i is equal to 0 to 4 left shift 0 okay so what is the number 4 write it okay number 4 is nothing but 4 rest all 0 if i left shift it 0 number of times what is the answer 4 itself so this loop is going to run from i is equal to 0 to 4 okay so 4 times count equal to count plus 1 will be executed and at the end when you print count 4 is going to be outputted that is option c is the answer so friends whichever question the sridhar sir has explained here the question was asked in 13th of august 2020 capgemini examination and this kind of questions are very very important for your examination so friends we have covered all these kind of questions in the capgemini material which we are selling it so i will tell you so friends this is our website online study for you dot in and in that we have premium videos so we have prepared one capgemini a new pattern pseudo code where we have covered the left shift operator right shift operator xor so whichever questions we think is very very important and will be coming to your exam and the price also friends we have kept it very much nominal 149 rupees for 21 videos so if somebody has bought the videos earlier so it was 20 videos now we have added one more videos so you can check it will be 21 videos so friends you can buy the video right now and start watching before it is too late thank you friends